I'm sorry. The rack is in the building. The baby. Life gave him lemons. And you made lemonade. Life gave me lemonade. And now I'm doing this. I wanted to reach out to filmmakers I know to make this response special. But no one wants to work with me. Everyone is mad because I cheated on my wife. I can't believe I cheated on Beyonce. I totally forgot I was married to Beyonce. Baby, you spent a whole hour making a whole production of a conversation, so the least I could do is put together my own production. <laughs> I know I've told you this before, but I always turn to WikiHow to solve my life problems and figure stuff out. It's really enlightening. Right now, according to WikiHow, this is how you apologize. <laughs> Step one, preparing your apology. Give up the idea of being quote unquote right. Arguing about the details of an experience that involves more than one person is usually frustrating. I know that now. For example, imagine that you went out to the movies without your partner. Your partner felt left out and hurt. I really know how that feels. Except I cheated on you, so that's much worse than movies. Step two, use I statements. One of the most common mistakes of apologizing is using you instead of I statements. Yeah, I'm putting the blame on you when really it's me. I am the one who cheated. Wow, this is so enlightening. Step three. Avoid justifying your actions. You know, that's really, that's really good because I was gonna like, you know, make a whole lot of excuses about how I needed it at the time because you were too busy. But step three of WikiHow has led me down that shaky path into solid ground. <laughs> step four, use excuses cautiously. Okay, now I'm back in the game. So now I gotta use my excuses for, for, for the most important moments. Step five, avoid the but. An apology that includes the word but will almost never be understood as an apology. Listen, I will never use buts in my apology. I just want to worship your butt, baby. Step number six, consider the other person's needs and personality. Well, I don't know if it's you or Sasha Fierce or who I'm talking to, but I respect all of your personalities, baby. Step number seven, Write your apology down if you like. Now here's why I got a problem, because everybody knows I don't write down my raps. I keep it all up here on the top of my dome. So if you do, I'ma spit my apology from the top. Freestyling from the heart. Apologize in the right time and place. Oh, that's real important. Find the right time. I believe the time is right now. I can't handle all this pressure. Even, even if you immediately regret something, an apology may not be effective if it comes in the middle of a highly emotional situation. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably feeling that right now. Probably should apologize right after I pulled out. Do it in person. You know, we have been separated for a while, you know, going our separate paths. I was gonna send you a long text, but you know what? I gotta meet you face to face. Even if you're sipping lemonade, I'ma still get through the apology. Choose a quiet or private setting for the apology. Everybody knows we all crowded, we ain't got no privacy. So I'ma have to do it in public. Send it to all my fans. Stream it. <laughs> yeah, I'ma put my apology on title so everyone can have access to it if they really work hard and are really, really intent on getting it. There's a few steps. It's not intuitive. Making your apology. Step number one, be open and non-threatening. Yo, baby, I'm open, and I don't want to be threatening. But you got to put the baseball bat down, all right? I don't want no more hot sauce in that bag. Step number two, use open, humble body language. Well, you know, I'm going to take off my hat and my chain, you know, just so we can talk like human beings. Take off the Rockefeller, bare-chested, my soul. <laughs> State your regret. I regret that I cheated on you. Who is she? She's done nothing in this world. You have done everything. Accept responsibility. I do accept full responsibility. I got my hand on the Bible, on the Holy Grail, Magna Carta. Step number five. State how you will remedy the situation. Baby, I'm gonna cater to you, for real. I know you meant it in that song back when you was with Destiny Child. 
but I'ma do it for real. I'ma have a whole rock nation coming to your needs. Kanye gonna be serving you soup. Listen to the other person. Baby, I listened to about a whole hour of that thing on loop twice. I can't stop. I turned on the radio with Sean. I can't even get into my title account without it blaring in my face. So I get where you coming from. Step number seven, end with gratitude. It's been the biggest problem of my life is feeling grateful because I think I'm a king. But you know what? I'm going to have to bow down and say thank you. Thank you for releasing lemonade for all these thirsty people who want the truth. And thank you for making us another half a billion dollars. Ha ha ha. I'm swimming in money. Wiki House been responsible for my last seven albums. You know, that's where the blueprint came from. I was down in the dumps, thought I didn't know how to flow no more. Then I looked up Wiki How on how to come back. Bam, blueprint came straight out. Yo, I just want to revisit some of these lyrics real quick. Because Lemonade was chock full of stuff. And I want to redress some of them. You can taste the dishonesty. It's on your breath as you pass it off so cavalier. Baby, you know I got bad breath. There's a lot of things that come up. Sometimes I'm eating shrimp. Just because I smell like shrimp doesn't mean I'm cheating. But technically it was because I did eat shrimp. With Becky with the good hair. So you were right. Can't you see that there's no man above you? Can't you see there's no other man above you? What a wicked way to treat the girl that loves you. You know, really, I appreciate that. There was no other man above me except for Jesus. You did put Jesus above me. I felt a little jealous of that. Me and Jesus was about to go at it because I'm Young Hover. Nobody can replace Young Hover. But you know, that's my bad. Something don't feel right because it ain't right. Especially coming up after midnight. I smell your secrets and I'm not too perfect to ever feel this worthless. How did it come down to this going through your call list? I don't want to lose my pride, but I'm going to fuck me up a bitch. Oh my God, baby. Never felt you so angry. But you know what? I get it. You found my password on my phone. Went through my calls. Saw a couple D pics that I just sent for myself. I didn't even send those out. That was just to kind of, you know, just seeing where I'm at in the world, you know? Taking stock of my penis. But you know what? I love the fact that you're angry because that means you care about me. That's all I really wanted to feel. So go ahead, swing that back, girl. What's worse, looking jealous or crazy? Jealous or crazy? Or like walked all over lately? Walked all over lately? I'd rather be crazy. But no, I mean, jealous is okay. You know, I mean, crazy is a little. I mean, that's out there. You know, crazy leads to people hurting each other. Jealousy means to conversations. I'd rather, you know, have a conversation with you, baby. I will never walk on over you again unless you want me to give you a, a massage with my feet while I walk on your back. I'm going to do that. That's only because you want me to, baby. It's such a shame you let this good love go to waste. Oh, baby, don't, don't, it's not over yet. I, don't, I need more of that good love. Yeah, I messed up. I did. But I'm not going to let it go to waste. Please recycle it. Who the fuck do you think I am? You ain't married to no average bitch, boy. I do agree with that. I'm married to an amazing queen. And you know, I don't call you bitch. I would never do that. And I am a boy because young boys mistreat their queens. But I'ma be a man, okay? I'ma be a man. I am the dragon breathing fire. Beautiful man. I'm the lion. Beautiful man. I know you're lying. All right, well, technically, baby, only male lions have a mane. So, I mean, I'm not trying to correct you. I'm just saying that you would be twitching genders on me, which is beautiful if that's how you feel. If you're trying to turn into a man because you're trans, I'm with it. You know what I'm talking about? As long as you still keep the body. <laughs> like I said, I'm all about the LGBT. I mean, I think it's a powerful statement to Blue Ivy. She got a trans man and another man together. I smell the fragrance on you, Louis Knit boy. Just give my fat ass a big kiss, boy. Tonight I'm fucking up all your shit, boy. Well, you know what? I really agree that you should mess up all my stuff. You should, like, break everything. My records, my gold records. This is your final warning. You know I give you life. If you try this shit again, you gonna lose your wife. Oh, come on. Why you gotta, why you gotta do ultimatums like that? I mean, come on. I, can't, I mean, we're working through this. You ain't gotta go to extremes right now, all right? 
you do give me life Then one time you literally gave me the Heimlich maneuver I almost choked on a piece of shrimp What is wrong with me and shrimp? I just, every time I eat shrimp something bad happens I really gotta change my diet B, help me Looking at my watch, he should have been home Today I regret the night I put that ring on He always got them fucking excuses now Come on baby, you made a song if you like it, you should put a ring on it and I did So please don't fall back on that It's the number one hit for a reason Cause you love me How many gear? I do be coming home late I mean your watch sometimes be acting funky We need to take it to a watchmaker But it's still, I mean you could read the sun When the sun goes down I should be home and I was out creeping. I'm a creep. He only want me when I'm not there. He better call Becky with the good hair. First of all, I think you got great hair, all right? I, you know what? Your hair is exquisite. Becky, I mean, Becky, I don't know who Becky is. All right, you know what? Forget I said that. I, you know what? I, I just insinuated myself. You know what? I think you got beautiful hair, all right? Even if it's not yours, I think it's good. You know, you got a lot of wigs and they're beautiful. Becky don't got wigs. She, it's natural. I, you know, I was drawn to that. And that's my bad. My daddy warned me about men like you. He said, baby girl, he's playing you. First of all, your daddy is crazy, all right? I mean, you left him a long time ago because he was tr he's like the Ike Turner. In this generation, why are you listening to your daddy? I mean, yeah, sometimes a, a you know a snake knows a snake and everything like that. But you know what? First of all, he's only like ten years older than me, so that's he probably does know a lot about my habits. I apologize, daddy. He's a smart man. I've always been committed. I've been focused. I always paid attention. Been devoted. Tell me, what did I do wrong? I mean, baby, we can go back and forth all day with what we did wrong. There's a, there's a long list, but why, why are we getting into that, all right? Let's get into apologies and healing. Um, you, would, yeah, you would sing way too loud when you were brushing your teeth in the morning. I couldn't focus. Uh, you, sometimes you sweat a lot in your sleep, and that messes up my sleep. I got, sometimes I got to walk outside to the balcony just to get fresh air. But this is not really about your issues. It's about me, baby. Why are you putting it on yourself? It's on me. I messed up. Sometimes your tea is too hot. You keep the, you keep, it's never mind. Ten times out of nine, I know you're lying. But nine times out of ten, I know you're trying. First of all, it's physically impossible for me to lie ten times out of nine. I lie nine times out of nine times if you're going to put me on that. But, she, but, yeah, but yeah, you know, 90% of the time I'm trying and I really appreciate that. You know, but one times out of ten... Is that how it, I'm bad at math, baby? I'm just, I'm just good at counting these millions. If it ain't a million, I don't know how to count it. Are you aware you're my lifeline? Are you trying to kill me? If I, if I wasn't me, would you still feel me? Like on my worst day, or am I not Thursday enough? Yo, baby, I'm your lifeline. I'm your IV, like blue IV. Hey. But yeah, if you wasn't you, I would not feel you. Because you Beyonce, you unique and special. That's why I love you. If you were Rita Ora or... Oh man, hold up. No. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm just saying other people. Like, if you're Rita or, or you know, Becky with good hair, I would not feel you like that. Because they are lesser than you. I don't know why I specifically said those names. But I want Beyonce to be Beyonce. Even on your worst... Your worst day is my best day, cause you my baby. Picture snatched out the frame. Bitch, I scratched out your name and your face. What is it about you that I can't erase, baby? First of all, I mean, you can't erase these lips. I got really big lips. You're gonna have to do a lot of scratching and you're gonna need like a manicure in the middle of the scratching just to like re-up and then start scratching again just to get it all off. I mean, that's just physics right there. It's hard to forget this face. <laughs> Plus, you see it on like, you know, smoking ads like Camel cigarettes. Like, my face is everywhere. We built sandcastles that washed away. I made you cry when I walked away. 
And although I promised that I couldn't stay, baby, every promise don't work out that way. First of all, when did you see me crying? Because, you know, I keep that very close to my child. I wear big sunglasses all the time. It was dark. I mean, I could have just been breathing heavy or had like a sinus infection or some allergies. I wasn't crying. I wasn't crying. Oh, man, I'm crying right now. Oh, man. See, you got me feeling all emotional. Who could do that to me but you? Found the truth beneath your lies. And true love never has to hide. That's, yeah, that's right. True love never has to hide. But sometimes when the paparazzi out, we got to cover up, right? And so the world is the paparazzi all in our business. And we need to keep it separate from the world. So like, you know, Lemonade, you just gave everything to the paparazzi. You showed up like a butt naked baby picture to the paparazzi. That's what Lemonade was. To our, you know, that's, I would have kept it secret, baby. You know, work it out with a therapist or something. Even though black people don't like therapy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Yep. I'm so sorry. I'm sad right now. I'm sad. I'm so sad. Yo, baby, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How do I say it? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I got tears in my eyes. Gotta make the song cry. I'm sorry. I'm so sad right now. If you can only see my face, you would see the sadness. I'm sad. I'm very, very sad. Hove is sad. The whole rock is sad. Young Hover, sorry. Hey yo, for real. Overall, I like lemonade. It was an amazing piece of art. But you know, some parts did get a little scary. They got a little dark, you know, like you're gonna wear her skin with her hand as gloves, her teeth as confetti. Like for real, that's kind of a, it puts the lotion on his skin type vibe. You know what I'm talking about? Like you getting real silence of the lamb serial killer type stuff. That's like a horror movie that, that M. Night Shyamalan would write, but it would like, you know, probably not do well in theaters. Cause you know he's been off lately but baby that's that's some scary stuff right there for real lemonade was a masterpiece you know the first 90 percent of it was it was it was brave it was really brave but remember that last 10 percent the forgiveness and redemption yeah that was beautiful baby that's the part i really enjoyed i think we need to remember that part you know because you know we need to not really remember where we start off but where we finish you know the finish is important and i feel like the ending the lemonade is where we really like need to focus on because you know remember when i was chasing blue ivy on the football field that was beautiful right <laughs> that was the best part of me that was like amazing i'm like where did she get that footage i didn't even know she was filming that was really powerful right there you should have that should have been most of the video you should have just took the home videos of me playing with Blue Ivy and how much of a good father I was. That was, that's, maybe that should be your follow-up to Lemonade. Yeah, I mean, if you're having girl problems, I feel bad for you, son. I got 100 problems, and you were all of them. I'm sorry. I'm so sad. I'm sorry. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I'm so sad. The rock is feeling sad. I'm so sorry. Ah, I'm crying and I'm sorry. I'm so sad right now. My frown is upside down. That's what I want to turn to. But now my smile is in a pile of shit. Because I'm sad. I'm not very happy right now. I'm so sad. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Haha, <laughs> I'm sorry. I am very sad. The things I did to my wife made her sad and now I am sad. This is my art. The art of me being sad. What a terrible thing I did. I am so sad. When I got out of that elevator, I was sad. I was sad because Solange hit me hard on my face. 
Now I am sad because the movie my wife made was very sad and it made me sad. I am so, so sorry that I cheated on you with Becky with the good hair. <laughs> It makes me sad to think of how poorly I timed this affair. I could've, should've, would've had sex with Becky with the good hair 20 years ago before I was your husband. But I can't turn back time. I can't undo the affair or move the affair to a less incriminating point in time. It is so sad that science hasn't figured that out yet. I am so sad. I made a mistake and science did too. I am sorry. I am a sorry man who has done something that makes me sorry. Like the clouds in the sky and the rain in the sky. I think my oh my, why oh why, like a sad french fry I am sorry. I am sorry for having so much perfume on my clothes. Why did I spray myself with the perfume of the ladies I slept with? It was like the dumbest thing I could do. I basically told you I was cheating by putting that perfume on my clothes. I am sorry for not washing my clothes. I wish I knew where the washing machine was in the house. Then I would have washed my dirty sex clothes as soon as I got home. But I do not know where the washing machine is because I am a terrible husband. And we are rich so our maid always washes our clothes. I am sorry to the maid as well. I am sad. I am destruction. I am a bowling ball careening into an old TV that is already on fire. I am sad. In this one, I am the bat. Sometimes time breaks and that makes me sad, but not as sad as knowing how much I hurt you, my wife. I am so sad. Sometimes the slow motion baby is the only thing that distracts me from my pain. I don't deserve to look at this baby, baby. I am sad. I am the axe, but I am also the wood. I want the beach to know that I am sad. I want the rain to know I'm sad. In case the beach forgot, I am sad. Has anyone told this umbrella how sad I am? Even the boy I SAT tutor can't handle my sadness. I don't like to project human feelings onto animals, but this dog looks sad, like me. Sorry. I feel so small right now in this galaxy. It makes me so sad that as insignificant as I was, I still mistreated my baby. Now I'm thinking of Bill Cosby. I'm just like him. I should be a Jello endorser and then ruin my life. What a sad person I am. You as jiggly as that Jello, and I didn't appreciate it. Oh no, she's she's depressed. That's why her eyes are closed, and that's how I feel. I'm gonna slowly close my eyelids and drift off and forget about this like it never happened because I'm sad. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's exactly how I feel. I feel like an old building in black and white. I need you to restore me to vibrancy because I feel dead inside. Oh man, I remember when I first took you on a skiing trip. That was beautiful. I wish I could take you again, but no, I can't, because I messed up. I'm sad. My heart is as cold as this pine trees and these mountains. I'm trying to melt this ice with the sunniness of your smile. But I'm too sad. I'm sad right now. Look at this water. It's, it's dirty. It's dirt in the water. 
just like in my in my deeds is dirt trees they dying now it's when to provide discontent is how I feel I'm drowning in sorrow I'm drowning I can't get up somebody please help me I'm too sad Look at all these bubbles. Oh no. I feel like that's where my love is right now in the graveyard. Because I messed up. Buried six feet deep. You know what? I bet the beehive wanna do that to Becky with the good hair. Put it six feet under. But you know what? I wouldn't be against it. It would just make my job easier to apologize. See, baby, I remember when you was first taking fighting classes. And you were like, baby, if you ever cheat on me, I'ma give you these hands. And baby, I tell you right now, if you wanna tune me up, put two to the head and one to the body, I'ma take it like a man. I'ma take those bruises, cause I deserve it. I mean, I already took some from your sister, so you might as well finish the job. Your sister, for real, she got hands. Woo. I feel like I'm back in the elevator. With Solange. Man, I feel so guilty. I wanted to fight back, but I was like, nah, I deserve it. Secretly, I wanted Solange to punch me harder because I felt guilty. But she couldn't connect. She needs to work on a form, you know? She was just kind of swinging wildly. If she actually took classes, she could be a contender. See, I want to do this to you right now, but I feel left out. Oh, man, Juan. Wine makes you go crazy. Baby, it was the wine that made me go crazy. I had a little bit of shot at Nate. And then, you know, one link led to another. And now we hit. Now here's where we are separated. Man, look. I thought I was so cool. Making business calls, making deals. Now look at me. I'm probably on the balcony like that alone. Everybody texting me like, yo, you in trouble, B. I'm like, yeah, I know. I don't know how to fix it. That looks like my chapped lips right now. That's how I feel, cause I've been been talking and crying. But I ain't got my I can't find my chapstick, cause you usually know where it's at. You know, you usually keep everything. That I know where it's at, cause you know I'm I'm busy. But you're really good at like remembering things, and I'm not. And now I don't know where my chapstick is. I lost my coconut water. I'm starving out here, dehydrated. You know I need something to drink when I'm crying. Got all these salty tears. I'm malnourished without you, B. It's post-apocalyptic. It's my soul. I feel like it's the walking dead in my chest right now. I'm cold. I'm shivering. I need somebody to spoon me in my sleep, but now I'm lonely. This is Blue Ivy's first drawing of us. She was sad. She drew an unhappy face when she found out that she was very sad, and she said, this is me. Like, I know it's you, Blue. She's a weird one. Oh, I want to do that again, but like in you, you know? I like, I want to <laughs> I want to explode inside you, baby. It's like a metaphor for orgasm. But I want to do it with you, not with that. I forgot a name already. How's she gonna incriminate herself on Instagram? It's like the dumbest thing ever. I swear, she is not too bright. She just gonna put it out there. I mean, it's like OJ just saying, hey, I did it. OJ's nuts too. She's the OJ of side chicks. Becky with the good hair, it's crazy. In her, there's, a, there's an etiquette to side chicks, all right? 
Side dudes have etiquette, so do side chicks, they need etiquette too. Blowing up my spot. Oh, here, here's, what, here's what I did to our relationship right here. And it makes me sad. You were the, the neon pink light bulb, I was the, the yellow light bulb. And, and then, you know, I just threw us down in the blender. Baby, I'm sorry. Here, look at that. Breaking everything apart. No wind, don't blow it away. Come back. That's all the Blue Ivy's toys. We getting rid of them. Yeah, look at these horses. These horses are free, roaming the forest. You should be free roaming the forest, finding who you are. Cause I took that away from you. And you know, to be honest, Lemonade could have just been a general exploration of a relationship and not specifically about us. And if that's the case, you know, ignore everything I'm saying. I'm tripping. I'm crazy. <laughs> Maybe this is a general exploration of my possible love affairs. But, like, not specifically about me. I'm just using me as a subject. Just to make it... You know what? Forget everything I'm saying. I'm crazy. Look at all this. I'm so sad right now. I'm crying. I feel like I'm being born. I remember when you first started walking in dangerously in love. You had this crazy sway in your hips and I was like, yes sir, yep. She's my baby. Now you got a different sway in your hips. You sway in your hips like you want some other dick. And I'm getting real sad and jealous. But I understand because I did it first. So I gotta let you get one in so we can balance it off. I see Serena Williams in the video. She was looking real. You know what? I shouldn't even go down that path. Making the same mistakes twice. That's how I felt. All my money's being blown away because no one wants to listen to me anymore. I just want to listen to my wife. Can I have a little bit of the money you make on this? Help me out. Oh, look at that. Tall trees. Sometimes you can't see the forest for the trees. Sometimes you can't see the side chicks for the, for the marriage. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know what that means. I was just trying to reach for something. But it's in the reaching that is admirable, is it not? Beyonce, countdown, count up, 25 years. I don't know what I've been doing for 25 years, but I hopefully I can be with you for another 35 years. I wanted to get married on a ship like this, all white, kind of crusty, you know. Something that had a little bit of character, unlike me. I feel lonely right now. Every time I eat lunch, I'm like this little, this little goat, this little lamb. No one wants to eat with me. I call Memphis Bleak up. I'm like, yo, Memp, I got a mean sub on the way. Let's enjoy a six inch. She's like, nah, fam. Cheating on your wife. You gotta fall back. Like Memphis, we've been together since the beginning. Man, she was a queen, and you did her wrong. Rubber duckies, they flowing upstream, going up to bigger and better places. I'm just flowing downstream, cause I'm sad, going to an abyss. Remember when we first took a bath together? It was so adorable. 
We had like G.I. Joe figurines and we were playing like kids. Now, I'm in my bathtub alone. I got a G.I. Joe and a Ninja Turtle, but they don't want to play. They just look at me with a guilty look. Like, man, can't believe you did it. And I'm crying. Half the bathtub is filled with tears, which really isn't good for my skin. I'm getting more wrinkly. This is all my breakfast is now. Soggy cereal in a cup, not even a bowl, like a human being. Cause I don't know how to make breakfast. I mean, technically neither do you, but I made. She only does it when you were around. Now that you're gone, she don't want to make me no cereal. I need my glasses. I'm losing focus. Just like I lost focus in our marriage. Baby, I really think you should do this new dance step in your video. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to help support you in whatever way I can because I'm so sad that I messed up. I'm sure you got better dance moves than that, you know. Look at the wave crashing down. Just disappearing into the shore. Oh my goodness, I feel like a monkey. I'll do whatever you want me to do. I have a cat over my head. I'll play violin, I'll skate, whatever you want. I'm your dancing monkey, baby. You the conductor with the weird hat looking like a milkman. I walk on my hands. Baby, I'll do whatever you want. Just please accept my apology. I feel like I'm clumb. Yeah, I thought that was gonna be mustard, but that looks more like barbecue. <laughs> baby sometimes you the unexpected is what comes out i did not expect lemonade to come out you were like the barbecue of this yellow canister it just popped out had the world on fire I feel like a golf ball right now with your baseball bat knock me out bam I deserve that I deserve to be hit in the woods and for a crocodile to eat me that's what I deserve and I'm ready for it look at all the sand the sand of time sand castles I built our love on a sand castle. I should have built a real castle. Some the concrete made out of marble that couldn't be destructed. But nah. The wind blew it away. And by the wind, I mean some side booty. Sometimes, you just need to get away, B. Maybe go on vacation. Like this right here. Maybe you find, you know, some guy there who, you know, wants to take you out on a date. That's cool. I think you need to explore something just to get over this anger. And I'm with it. Look at this man here. I used to cook cocaine as good as this dude did. And now I came a kingpin of the game. Honestly. But now look at me. I'm thinking of slang and the coke. Because I ain't got nothing left to lose. Cause I already lost my baby. Becky with the good hair. Yeah. That's what I should, I, I'm gonna tattoo this all over my body. I'm gonna tattoo love and fire. Because I know it burns, it burns day and night for you. That should be us right there. That's limeade really, it's not lemonade. We need some lime made because that lime is really good for healing things. So I think your next album should be Lime Hay. Repairing. Look at the rainbow umbrella. Baby, I support gay rights. That was a tangent. I just want to let you know I'm a good man. I'm just trying to... Just trying to make myself look good at this point. 
bring back all the positives so you don't forget. Your boy Jay Z supports LGBT. Yeah, this is beautiful right here. You got these two palm trees, but they're not in the center, they're to the left. To the left, to the left. Baby, I remember your music. I sing it back to you, that's beautiful. Look at all this. Everybody waiting for the track, for the apology track. That's all my fans right there. Eight seagulls. You got a whole beehive. I got eight seagulls. Look at the sunset. I hope the sunset does not set on a relationship. I don't want the sun to set, baby. I want the sun to rise. Yeah, I remember, I mean, look at this milk, baby sometimes I just want to be on morphine so I don't feel the pain no more, I just want to go to sleep, I just want to get my blue ivy, I can't live without my ivy, yeah, blue ivy dripping into my face cause I love my child. That's just the waves. That's Kanye, so it's not mine. Baby, you got me delirious. Look at this old church. Oh, you know what? That's the problem. We never went on hikes together. We always been on tour and all that, but we never just been in nature. Guess what? I'm gonna take you on a hike, baby. I'ma refurbish our relationship like this building right here. I'ma paint, paint all the walls. I'ma do it myself. I'ma put drywall in. I'ma frame it. You know, I'ma, I'ma put some nice decorations. And that's gonna be our love. This gonna be Blue Ivy's room right here. I'm just gonna buy a church and be like, Blue Ivy, this you. Cause I believe in our baby. I don't know what that is, but I feel like it sometimes. Underwater, real weird looking, that's how I feel. I want to drink beer right now. Cause at least if I was an alcoholic, that would kind of explain my situation. And I can kind of fall back on my alcoholism. Be like, baby, I'm sorry, I'm an alcoholic. You be like, you know what, you need help. But I don't drink like that. So I can only blame myself. I'm so sad right now. Look at that. I'm thinking of Prince because it's purple. Now I'm getting even more sad. Prince was a freak too. But at least he treated his women right. I should treat you right, baby. You my jellyfish. I'm your water. I don't know what that technically means, but it feels special. Pine cones. Yeah. That's what we are. We just pine cones on the Christmas tree, baby. And I mess with another ornament. I mess with a candy cane. Candy cane's not good for you. Should have stayed with my pine cone. <laughs> that one song, that little country song you made about your pops. It's a great song. It's my blue ivy again. Dripping into me. That's just her, her snotty nose dripping on me. That's what it feels like. Blue Ivy, really, she got a sinus problem. We need to fix that beat. That's why we need to get back together. So we can deal with our kid. And I'm still sorry. I feel like I just want to go in the tomb right now. You know? Escape from the world. Put rocks all over me. Then when I'm ready, I come back. Resurrected a new man. A better person. Yo, you should, you should do a music video here, B. It's like real cultural or something like that. Yeah. 
My girls run the world part two. Yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to, I feel crazy. Man, this is making my brain hurt. That's every time I close my eyes to see this. The world is moving too fast. I'm having seizures. Cause I miss my baby. Everybody, everything ends in ruins. Look at this right here. I mean, how could you not be sad? This used to be something special. It used to be like a, a huge building of some sort where everyone went to. That's how I used to be. I used to be a huge hip hop legend. Then I cheated on you. And now I'm in ruins. I got like mold and moss growing on my sides right now. I got like a brick missing. I'm not happy like this dude here. I'm sad I'm the opposite. That's why I showed you this image. To show you the opposite of how I feel. Probably Greece. Remember all those great stories? Hut Olympus, Hercules, all that. I read that to our baby Blue Ivy. Just to get a culture. That's a positive thing that I do that you should not forget. So remember, I read Greek mythologies to our baby. So don't leave me be. What other rapper would do that? There, there probably is a few. There's probably, you know, a lot of people like Greek mythology, but you know, that's beside the point. Just remember me. I'm sorry. I'm so sad. I'm sorry. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I'm so sad. The rock is feeling sad. I'm so sorry. Ha, I'm crying and I'm sorry. I'm so sad right now. My frown is upside down. That's what I want to turn to. But now my smile is in a pile of shit. Because I'm sad. I'm not very happy right now. I'm so sad. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Ha <laughs> I'm sorry. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against its sea of troubles, and by opposing end them, to die, to sleep no more, and by a sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to, tis a consummation devoutly to be wished, to die, to sleep, to sleep perchance to dream, I. There's the rub, for in that sleep of death what dreams may come When we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause There's the respect that makes calamity of so long life For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely The pangs of despised love, the law's delay The insolence of office and the spurns that patient merit of the unworthy takes when he himself might his quietest make with a bare bodkin. Who would these fardels bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life? But that the dread of something after death, the undiscovered country from whose board no traveler returns puzzles the will and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others that we know not of. Thus conscience does make cowards of us all and enterprises of great pith and moment with this regard their currents turn away and lose the name of action soft you now the fair beyonce nymph in thy horizons be all my sins remembered what the hell was that i don't even know i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm so sad I'm sorry, baby, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so, so sorry, I'm so sad, the rock is feeling sad, I'm so sorry, ah.
I'm crying and I'm sorry. I'm so sad right now. My frown is upside down. That's what I want to turn to. But now my smile is in a pile of shit. Cause I'm sad. I'm not very happy right now. I'm so sad. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Haha, <laughs> I'm sorry. Now I am sad again. Wow, I've been sad for 20 minutes now and you have been sad since you put the ring on, which was, what, 10 years ago? Six years ago? I don't remember these things. This sadness is pulsing through my veins. I think I'm gonna change my name to J Sad. That's how sad I am. I feel so sad and worthless. Fuck, I am worth nothing now. I mean, I am worth about $520 million. But outside of that, I have no worth. I mean, I'm worth a lot. <laughs> but I mean, I am worthless emotionally. What I'm trying to say is, I have a lot of money. A fuck ton of money. But what I don't have is worth that you give me. Because I have a lot of money. Like, a lot. It's my heart that is sad and feels worthless. My wallet is fine. I have so much money. I'm still so sad, and it's not even a good kind of artistic sad. Usually I take this sadness and write a lot of sad and angry rap, but I can't even do that right now. Also, if I tried to put out any music right now, I don't think people would be too happy. So many people are mad at me right now. Hey yo, Beyonce, I love the beautiful poetry and lemonade. And you know, I want to express myself in that form. But usually I rap about being a baller, having a lot of money and being a boss. So I had to reach out to figure the best balance and I'm sorry songs so I can apologize to you. So I hit up the Google search and this is what all came up. Straight fire, apologies. You gotta go and get angry at all of my honesty. You know, I try, but I don't do too well with apologies. I hope I don't run out of time, cause someone call a referee, cause I just need one more shot of forgiveness. I know you know that I made those mistakes, but maybe once or twice, by once or twice I mean <laughs> maybe a couple hundred times. So let me, oh let me redeem, oh redeem, oh myself tonight, cause I just need one more shot at second chances. Yeah, is it too late now to say sorry? Cause I'm missing more than just your body. <laughs> oh, is it too late now to say sorry? Yeah, I know that I let you down. Is it too late to say I'm sorry now? Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry, yeah. Ooh. Sorry, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know that I let you down. Is it too late to say I'm sorry now? <laughs> I'll take every single piece of the blame if you want me to. But you know that there is no innocent one in this game for two. I'll go. I'll go and then you go. You go out and spill the truth. Can we both say the words and forget this? Yeah. Is it too late now to say sorry? Because I'm missing more than just your body. <laughs> oh, it's too late now to say sorry. Yeah, I know that I let you down. Is it too late to say I'm sorry now? I'm not just trying to get you back on me. Cause I'm missing more than just your body. Is it too late now to say sorry? Yeah, I know that I let you down. Is it too late to say I'm sorry now? I'm sorry, yeah. Ha. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know that I let you down. Is it too late to say I'm sorry now? I'm sorry, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know that I let you down. Is it too late to say I'm sorry now? Yo, I'm sorry. Justin Bieber could probably say that whole thing better than me. 
but I thought I'd give it a shot. Here's another Justin song. Damn, Bieber knows how I feel. What do you mean? When you nod your head yes, but you want to say no, what do you mean? Hey, when you don't want me to move, but you tell me to go, what do you mean? Or, what do you mean? Said we're running out of time, what do you mean? What do you mean? Better make up your mind, what do you mean? You're so indecisive of what I'm saying, trying to catch the beat, make up your heart. Don't know if you're happy or complaining. Don't want for us to end, where do I start? First you want to go to the left, and you want to turn right. Want to argue all day, make love all night. First you up, and you down, and then between. Oh, I really want to know, what do you mean? Okay, like for real, I get what you mean. You were very clear, it was straightforward, but I, <laughs> I really like this song. Hello? Yo, I'm in the booth, I'ma call you right back No, I just gotta put this one part down, I'ma call you back I'm at the studio, man Man, quit playing with me, man No, for real, don't play like that Are you... Are you serious? How you know? Put that on everything Damn, I'ma call you back I'ma call you back Every time I was in LA, I was with my ex-girlfriend Every time you called, I told you, baby, I'm working. No, I was out doing my dirt. Oh, wasn't thinking about you getting hurt. I was hand in hand in the Beverly Center. Like, man, not giving a damn who sees me. So gone. So wrong. Acting like I didn't have you sitting at home. Thinking about me, being the good girl that you are. I bet you probably believe you got a good man. A man that never would do the things I'm about to tell you I've done. Brace yourself, it ain't good. But it would be even worse if you heard this from somebody else. Oh no, I know you hate me. I know I hurt you, but there's more. Listen, watch this. These are my confessions. Just when I thought I said all I could say. My chick on the side said she got one on the way. These are my confessions. Man, I'm thrown and I don't know what to do. I guess I gotta give you part two of my confessions. If I'm gonna tell it, then I gotta tell it all. Damn near cried when I got that phone call. I'm so thrown and I don't know what to do. But to give you part two of my confessions. Now this is gonna be the hardest thing I think I ever had to do. Got me talking to myself, asking how I'm gonna tell you. About that chick on part one. I told you I was creeping with, creeping with. Said she's three months pregnant and here she's keeping it. The first thing that comes to mind was you. Second thing was, how do I know it's mine and if it's true? Third thing was me wishing that I never did what I did. How I ain't ready for no kid and bye bye to our relationship. These are my confessions. Just when I thought I said all I could say. My chick on the side says she got one on the way. These are my confessions. Man, I'm thrown and I don't know what to do. I guess I gotta give you part two of my confessions. If I'm gonna tell it, then I gotta tell it all. Tim near cried when I got that phone call. I'm so thrown and I don't know what to do. But to give you part two of my confessions. Tim, I know I messed up, but I'm glad I'm not Usher. <laughs>